When winter and spring rains drench the Los Altos Hills, it takes time for thirsty soil to saturate. Eventually, seasonal brooks fill the local creeks. The laden soil also yields a rich growth of grasses and flowering plants in meadows. Though we think of the Great Blue Heron as an icon of the tidal baylands, this heron regularly roosts in the Redwood Grove Nature Preserve in Los Altos. The Great Blue is a formidable meadow predator, stalking amphibians and many small mammals. Another hunter, the red-shouldered hawk, can perch or fly silently through trees that border the meadows. When establishing territory or summoning a mate, they can be surprisingly vocal. The black-shouldered kite is a raptor adapted to hunt the hilltops with elegant flight patterns of hovering, dipping, and diving. Deciduous trees around meadows are frequented by insectivores, like this sapsucker, a male, as well as this female, Nuttall's woodpecker. Herbivores take advantage of spring, feeding heartily on grasses as they mature and set seed. Among the herbivores are the black-tailed jackrabbit, also known as the American Desert Hare. The spring is a time of placid feeding punctuated by confrontations, mostly between male and female. Their survival is enhanced by camouflage, freezing when threatened, and by athletic bounding escape when predators approach too close. Often seeming to be solitary, the hares gather in boisterous groups of a half dozen or more when it's time to breed. At its peak, there is infrequent group zaniness that seems heedless of anything, including people who might be observing. This is the mad as a March hare behavior that Lewis Carroll referred to in his stories. As in Britain, our hares can even take up a boxing stance as a reluctant female fends off unwanted pursuit by a male. Check out Bay Nature magazine of April 2016 online to see hares boxing.
Usually, the female can face down advances in more subtle ways. But a lot of romping skirmishes over a period of days seems to be the norm. There's hot pursuit. There's lukewarm pursuit. And a lot of standoffs. As the days of April lengthen and rains taper off, Local flowers peak and their seeds mature. Flows reduce where porous creek beds grow more exposed. Here's an unusual wildlife flasher pose. On especially warm days, the great blue heron does this in order to regulate its body temperature while waiting to ambush its prey. As the shadows lengthen, another great blue perches above a meadow before returning to its nightly roost. 